Well, the 12th annual Nature Fest is uh, at Bridgeland. It's happening tomorrow. And the festival headliner this year is Animal Planet's large predator expert, Dave Salmoni. Welcome to the show. Thank Are you, you doing okay me. there, Courtney? I'm just going to grab the head and bring it around so everyone can see how pretty okay. this Burmese python is. Beautiful. You both have Burmese pythons. Okay. Uh, they look very different, obviously. This one is sort of a just a different color skin color type right. uh it's mostly found in captivity not so much in the wild this and is i asked you about th that's not an albino right no not exactly they call it like a melanistic and that's generally is the mean term of that scientists use about the different types of pigments that okay. they do or they don't have um it's easier just to know it's different okay. a little genetically different there's nothing unhealthy about it perfectly healthy um but this is what you're used to seeing so right. this, this is a constrictor uh this coloration helps them hide on the forest floor wait for something yummy to come by they have rows and rows of teeth this beautiful face and they grab their little prey and then we think of constrictors as squeezing right they but they don't so much squeeze as they hold right so every time the animal exhales they hold a little tighter and a little tighter until no more breaths and then it's dinner oh wow yeah so right, like so just a slow gentle death did you hear that Courtney? Um, rows and rows rose, of teeth rose lots of teeth. and lots of teeth but they're very they're non-venomous right so they're not going to hurt you if they bite you you hear that lovely noise okay now that one's hissing is yeah. he does that mean he's just talking is it, it means exactly what you think it does he's like hey dave why are you grabbing me over here i was smelling something over there um and so i just I, I'm the boss of him right now. Yeah. I get to see. Let me cool. see your face. Well, and this is the 12th annual Nature Fest, it right? So, it is. So the whole point is teaching people that while these animals may look a little bit scary, it's really about educating the public. It is. And you know, everything that I do like this, the reason that we're here is we want to show you that they're awesome. So once you believe that they're awesome and you get a little connection with them, even if you're a little bit scared, you yeah. recognize that animals are great. And then once you get them into a great space, then it's like, well, let's talk about conservation. Let's talk about why we, sh we should sh share their space. We have to teach people why it's important that we keep them around. So to do that, you got to give that connection. And this, TV, festivals like Nature Fest in Brisbane, yeah. those all help people, especially kids, build that bond with animals. And once I have them in the bond, I got them. How heavy, how heavy, what, how much does he weigh? This one? Oh, yeah. that's a good question. I haven't held this one yet. I would say 60 pounds-ish. Yeah, um, uh, it's heavy, heavy, right? I don't know. They can, get, they can get 200 pounds if they want. Like a big, big one. A big Burmese python can be big, big, big. They're so beautiful. Now, these aren't the only uh, animals that you brought with you today. No, no, we, we got more. We also have some armadillos, right? We do. Panda you want to see some of them? Yeah, let's check Let them out. Let me help you with this one. We've okay. got wranglers come in. Just when I was getting super comfortable with our snake friends. Let me help you with this one as well. It, it is remarkable how heavy. Yeah, they can be able to. You're lucky that they're actually they holding you and you don't have to hold them. Okay, next one. I don't know if you guys at, at home could hear, but there was some pretty was loud some hissing going on. Hissing. You hold that one. Oh, oh my gosh. You can hold that one. Okay. If they get too wiggly for you, just let me know. Okay. They may flip out of this little shell oh. and the, you'll feel their claws. Their, feel, their claws are safe, they just feel strong. <gasps> oh. <laughs> maybe I'll hold this okay. one. Okay. Okay. I wasn't so let, expecting that. Yeah, see, that's actually one of his defenses that you're seeing there. So, okay. what, so what happens is they kind of curl into a ball completely, and then when I put things there close, he's like, rah, got you. So he's trying to scare you a little bit. Uh, so he, he got you. Oh, this he is, did get me. So this is, what, this is the best part about an armadillo, in my opinion. You see how hard, you can feel how hard that yeah. guy is? Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. Yeah. You know, Unbelievable. So if he was nervous and if he wanted to, you know, have... You know, if you thought there was a threat around, he crawls into a little ball like this, and he gets scared. Okay, big guy, you sit here. You're a good guy. And this one is definitely... Uh... He's hanging out. That's how they're comfortable. But certainly you can see how he's kind of impenetrable. If you were a big hawk or something trying to eat an armadillo, you'd have a really hard time uh, doing that. Now, this guy, I don't know how well the viewers can see, but I'll put her, his legs on, out so you can see those big digging claws. That's what makes these guys real special. When they're not scared and they're just running around, this is what they look like. They have those big claws for digging around, looking for bugs, um, looking for larvae, that kind of thing. They kind of eat all the yucky stuff that we probably <laughs> wouldn't like to eat. And these specifically are native to Brazil? Yes, they are. Absolutely. Man, you have all your facts. It does. Wow. Okay, I didn't get, realize that there's a, more than like 20 different... Lots of armadillos. Okay. There's something, if you ever want to research armadillo, the screaming hairy armadillo is a home run. They're both really? screaming and hairy. They're super fun. Screaming hairy armadillo. <laughs> that sounds so sexy. Your last uh, we have <laughs> We have two more animals. Let's bring them on out because uh, we're running oh, tight goodness. on time. All right. But it is so cool to have such a front row seat. Yes. With, uh, Creatures that we Speaking of seats, I'm going to have a seat with this guy. I okay. don't think you should ha carry these guys. Okay. This is a tegu. Okay. And he's perfectly safe. You can feel his back. You want to touch him? Are you sure? Sure. Okay. The back part is lovely. 
Now tell everybody how lovely he feels. I mean, Cutie. Scaly Derek, you want to yeah. give him a touch? Bumpy. He's not going to bite you. I just, it's, uh. it's better manners to not touch their head. You know, you would want someone touching, touching your head. head. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is better ma animal manners to do, do that type of touching. Now, people look at these guys and they think, oh, look how gross, look how scaly, these look how dry. But really, their skin is quite soft. soft. Yeah. I mean, it's textured. Of course, you can see that texture. These guys need skin like this because... Um, they can live in almost any type of environment, really wet, really dry, you know, they, they basically are really good at finding food. Um, so having tough skin will really help them in the harsher climate. A native to South America, what an interesting looking creature. Now you see those big jowls? Yes. That's what makes them attractive. Ladies love that. If you were a lady tegu, you'd be like, wow, wow. look at that wow. guy. He's got a face for TV. He <laughs> is fine. Okay, let's talk about the event details. Uh, we did have one more animal, though. We will put that on Facebook so people yeah. can, can meet him. But the 12th annual Nature Fest is happening this weekend starting at 10 a.m. in Oak Meadow Park. And proceeds go toward the Sci Hope Charity, which is fantastic. Absolutely. Dave, thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you this for having so me. Great. Really feel the fear and do it anyway. All right. <laughs>